Welcome again to the old principle. I am the old principle. 我就是老校长 And we have lesson number two hundred and twenty-five, the three hundred thousand dollars stove. Now, if you can see this picture here, this is a real person. Her name was Mag. Well, people called her Maggie. But before we get into Maggie's story, let's listen to it completely as Mrs. Ash reads it. Then we'll be back. Story two twenty seven, the three hundred thousand dollar stove. Margaret or Maggie grew up in Hannibal, Missouri, and would eventually become one of the richest women of her times. Maggie went on foot to Leadville, Colorado, where she worked as a singer for the Saddle Rock Saloon. Maggie fell in love with Johnny Brown, the owner of a gold mine. The two were married soon afterward. For some strange reason, Johnny mysteriously disappeared on their wedding night and was gone for a week. Maggie cried a lot, but she knew that Johnny always had a good reason for everything he did, so she waited at home patiently. When he returned, the whole story became understandable. Johnny told her how he'd sold a claim and made a fortune, three hundred thousand dollars. While they were trying to decide what to do with all that money, Johnny disappeared again. Maggie didn't worry about him, but she didn't like having all that money lying around their two-room log cabin. She reasoned, "Ah,、oh, hmm, it's summer, and we haven't used our wood stove for two months. I'll put the money in the bottom of the stove where it'll be safe until Johnny gets home." Johnny came home early on a frosty morning. He'd walked up from town and was tired and cold. Maggie was asleep and he didn't want to awaken her, so he quietly built a fire in the stove to take the chill out of the air. The smoke smelled strange, but he thought nothing of it. When Maggie wakened, she smelled it too. She rushed to the stove, hoping to save all that money, but it was too late. They'd burned up their entire fortune. Oh, but Johnny found another claim and once again made Maggie rich. Years later, when Maggie traveled in Europe, she had to hurry home and take the fastest way across the Atlantic in 1914. The Titanic. She survived and became known as the quotes unsinkable Maggie Brown. Welcome back to the old principle. Now we come to Maggie's story, or really, it should be Margaret, right? Because her real name was Margaret, although everybody. I don't know why they just gave them the nickname. Why, how, Maggie? So, Margaret grew up in Hannibal, Missouri. Now, Hannibal, Missouri, is right in the middle of America, right in the center of America. It's not East Coast. It's not West Coast. Okay. So she grew up. 她长大就是在 Hannibal. Uh, Missouri. Although this would be considered west, this would be considered、uh, west. Well, at this time, maybe not so far west. So it's in the middle of America, but she wanted to go out where it was exciting. So she would eventually become. One of the richest women of her times, Tada Shudai times, Tada Shudai, she would become 
one of the richest women. So we will tell her story, a little bit of her story here. And uh, she also had a very interesting distinction and we will talk about that at the very end of the program. But before we get to the end of the program, we have to continue. And she was very rich. She was very rich. Going on. Maggie went on foot to Leadville, Colorado. Now, just in case you don't know, from Hannibal, Hannibal, Missouri, to uh, this place a long, long ways away, up on the Rocky Mountains, Dega Shuto San Mai, okay? Rocky Mountains, okay, way up there in a place called Leadville, Colorado. Okay, she went there on foot. So what does it mean to go on foot? That means you're walking. You're not riding, you're not flying. Obviously, this is a long time ago, so there was no airplanes, okay? Where she worked as a singer, she worked as a singer, Tasuke Show, at the Saddle Rock Saloon. Saddle Rock Saloon, okay, Saddle Rock Saloon. So this is Maggie, she is a singer, in a saloon. Go ahead. Maggie fell in love, Tatyo Ai Song, Johnny Brown. Okay, Johnny Brown, the owner of a gold mine. Okay, so he's not just the oh, um, uh, take a gold mine, take a Jin Kwan, uh, Jin Kwan, okay. Tan the owner of, Tan Se Yong Yong Zhe. He's the owner of the gold mine. So he should be rich, right? Well, he was doing okay. The two were married soon afterward. Okay. Uh, huh? They were married. Go ahead. For some strange reason, Johnny mysteriously disappeared on their wedding night. Okay, wedding night. Ni jie hun zhi ho. Di yi ge wan shang jiao. Wedding night. And for some strange reason, uh, he disappeared. Okay, now this is very strange. On the wedding night, you usually spend all night with your wife, right? Right? Well, in this case, on uh, their wedding night, uh, he disappeared for one week. He was gone one week. So, who knew where he was? I imagine in fact, if you look at the next slide, Maggie cried a lot. She cried a lot. Why would she cry? Because when you get married, you don't, your husband just doesn't go away right away. She cried a lot, but she knew something about Johnny. Already she learned something about Johnny. He always had a good reason for everything he did. He had a reason. He had a reason. So she didn't know what it was. So the best thing she could do is she patiently waited at home for her husband to return. So here she is, she's at home, she's waiting for her, her, what do you say, uh, man, her groom, the, the person she married just a few days ago, waiting 
for him to return. Going on. When he returned, the whole story became understandable. When he returned, she, he explained, and the whole story became very clear, became very clear. He understood, okay? Understandable. Johnny told her how he sold a claim and made a fortune. Johnny told her how he had sold a claim. Okay, now, we got to stop here because claim is a very important word. Okay, what is a claim? When you are searching for gold, okay, you're searching for gold and you find gold out there, then you say, this is mine. You claim it. That means that for this area, you, it becomes, well, in Chinese, we could say maybe something like 土地 所有权. So it's yours. It's your claim. Now, in these days, nobody owned the land. It's, it's a free area. So if you find something important, you can you can stake a claim okay we actually we say stake a claim so johnny told her how he'd sold a claim okay that's a place that will become a gold mine and he made a fortune now a fortune is tato falatai so, yi da dui qian. Now, san shi wan kuai qian mei jin. Man, now, today, that's not a whole lot of money, is it? But, you can tell uh, that those times were different. $300,000 was a lot of money. A pile of money, okay? Uh, going on. While they were trying to decide what to do with that money, Johnny disappeared again. So now they haven't decided what they're going to do with the money. Uh, these are hard times. This is a long, long, long time ago. And these are hard times. Also lawless times. A lot of uh, bad people. Uh, around and so they had to be very careful. Three hundred thousand dollars. Well, where are you going to put the three hundred thousand dollars? I mean, even the banks. Some of the banks were not safe. Okay, Eden So now, while they were trying to think about what they were going to decide what to do with all that money, Johnny, what? Disappeared again. Yoshipujian. Okay. Uh, you could say disappeared. You could say ta xiao shirla. Or jiaopujian. Okay. Well, this is not the first time, right? It's not the first time going on. Maggie didn't worry about him. She said, well, uh, that's understandable. Now she is getting used to kaiser xi guan ta de xing wei ah. But she didn't like having all the money lying around the house. But she didn't like having all that money. Now that's a lot of money lying around their two-room log cabin. Okay, first of all, several uh, things. If money is lying around, then uh, Now, obviously, 
the money is all together <laughs> one little amount. But we, we say that in English. Uh, we say lying around means 到处都有, okay, 这个钱. So she did not feel real comfortable about that. She was worrying about that. And they were living in a two-room log cabin. Okay, 小屋. Uh, a, a cabin is a small house, okay? But this was a log cabin. What is a log cabin? A log cabin is made out of yuanmu. So it's usually uh, big round uh, logs and they stack them up there and it becomes a house, okay, or a cabin. Uh, going on, she reasoned, and this is what she reasoned, 她的思想, okay, 她的思想是这样, it's summer, actually it was toward the end of summer, it was, it's summer, and we haven't used our wood stove for two months, okay, 已经两个月,我们没有用这个, uh, 炉子, okay, 烧木材的炉子, okay, okay, so, eh, we haven't used this, I know what we'll do, we will put the money in the stove, I mean, she decided to put the money in the stove, now, remember, uh, these are not safe times, so, people are not going to look in a stove, right, People won't look at that. Uh, that is, if you're looking at the, uh, you know, if it's uh, a robber or a thief, they, they aren't going to come uh, look there. So she just, uh, she just uh, put it in the uh, wood stove uh, going on. I'll put the money in the bottom of the stove. I'll just put it down here at the bottom of the stove, and it'll be safe until Johnny gets home. So that's what she did. She put the money in the bottom of the stove and waited for her husband to come home. Now, this was toward the end of the summer. And already the days are getting a little bit cold. During the day, quite nice, but uh, it's not so nice in the early mornings. Going on, Johnny came home early on a frosty morning. Now here's a couple of very nice words. Okay, 他清早就回来了, uh, okay? But it says, it was frosty. Still the end of summer. The days are very nice. But when it says frosty, what do we mean? Okay, if we say it frosted last night, 昨天晚上下霜啊. Okay, so frost is 霜啊. But in this case, let's take a look at it. It's a frosty morning. 相当有寒气的,这个比较凉快,反正只有下霜了, okay? So, it's quite cold. He'd walked up from town, so they didn't live in town. They, he walked up from town, and he was tired and cold. Okay, up to now, things are fine. Going on, Maggie was asleep and he didn't want to waken her. So he quietly, uh-oh, built a fire in the stove to take the chill out of the air, okay? 
So he quietly, 不要啊叫醒他了 ，Okay? So he didn't want to awaken her. So he quietly, 安安静静的 built a fire. 就生了一个火在这个炉子里面。What what he wants to do to take the chill out of the air, 把这个这个屋子里面的这个这个冷的这个温度 ，OK， 要驱赶走 ，OK. In other words, you heat up the room means to take the chill out of the room. Now, chill maybe. You could say the hot chi, okay, ah,、uh, this wind, and so he wants to get it warmer inside. Going on, the smoke smelled strange.、Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels it smells a little bit strange. Why? Why so strange? But it says here. He thought nothing of it. Okay, what does it mean? He thought nothing of it. Well, he he didn't even think about it. 根本就没有想到啊，为什么是有怪怪的 ？Okay, going on. When Maggie awakened, she smelled it too. Uh oh. When Maggie awakened, she smelled. The smell of something burning. Okay, she rushed to the stove. Huh? What does it mean to rush? She ran. She went as fast as she can. 匆匆忙忙的这个冲过去 hoping to save the money. Hoping to save the money. But going on, but it was too late. They burned up their entire fortune. They burned up 他们的一切所有的一大堆钱 fortune. 烧光了 burned up. 烧光了 burned up. Going on. Johnny found another claim. Now this is interesting. These are hard times, but somehow he found another claim. Johnny found another claim. Do you remember what we explained about a claim? A claim is a piece of land. That you land on, you say, "Oh, I want this land," and then you register. 还是要跟政府注册 okay? And then you have 土地所有权 okay? For that area, so he found another 金矿的这个或许会变成一个金矿啊、uh, 金矿 okay? So he found another claim, and of course he sold it again, and he made Maggie a rich lady. Sure, Maggie. 当然 ，Maggie 是他的太太，所以呢，他又是发了财。Going ahead. Years later, when Maggie traveled to Europe, many years later, when Maggie traveled to Europe, ta chu oto chu wan, she had to hurry home. 不晓得为什么缘故啊，她要快快的回家了。And she took the fastest way across the Atlantic, 大西洋是 Atlantic Ocean, right? So she took the fastest way. Across the ocean, remember, no airplanes in those days, but the fastest way across the ocean, 最快的方法能够这个过这个大西洋是
坐船。This is the year 1914, and she went on a ship. 大船名叫 Titanic. 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 I hope there's several ways of saying Titanic in Chinese, but there's a There's even a movie about the Titanic now, and、uh, how it sank, and、uh, and all of this very famous movie. Okay, this is the boat that that uh, um, crashed into the iceberg and sank. Okay, so she went on the Titanic in 1914. Going on. But she survived. She lived. She didn't die. She was one of the people that were saved, and she became known as the unsinkable Maggie Brown. The unsinkable Maggie Brown. The Titanic. Sunk, 她在岩下去 But when Maggie Brown, they gave her this special、uh, nickname, the unsinkable Maggie Brown. 她没有任何一个事情会太影响她 Unsinkable Maggie Brown. So there you have it, the story of Maggie Brown and the three hundred thousand dollar stove. Now, let's see. You can write an email to us. The email address is here: theoldprincipal at gmail dot com. You can also take a look at our website: www.theoldprincipal. Dn. O R G. Hey, it's been great to be with you, and I'm looking forward for us to get together next time for another interesting lesson.